This is gonna be a lot. Hello guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Sarah and today's video we are going to talk about one of my favorite things ever. San Diego State. So I am going to give you guys all of my pros and cons about San Diego State. Now I attended San Diego State from 2013 to 2017 so it's been a couple of years since I've graduated and I've had a lot of time to reflect on my experience and um, I think a couple of things might have changed since I was there but I did go ahead and look up what's going on currently at San Diego State just to make sure that everything I'm going to talk about today is still accurate. So the very first thing that I have on my pros list is academics. Now San Diego State is a great school to learn. That's the reason that we're all going to college at the end of the day, right? We want to get our bachelor's degrees and get jobs in the future and study what we love and San Diego State is a great place to do that. San Diego State is known to be kind of like a really big nursing school and a big business school. Um, however, there's many, many, many other programs there at State. And I would say that I felt pretty challenged in my courses, especially once you get up into your upper division. Next on my pros list, I have campus amenities. So what I mean by this is I think San Diego State had amazing, amazing amenities. Like we had the Aquaplex, which I lived in Chappie, the dorms Chappie, which um, is they're way off on their own. There's no other dorms near them. But, but the good thing about Chappie is they are right next to the Aquaplex and right next to the gym, which is um, called the Arc. So... That was something that was kind of like everyone was bummed to be in Chappie because they were triples, but I thought it was actually really nice and convenient because we had our own market, we had the Aquaplex, and we had the gym like really, really close. Also, San Diego State has a ton of restaurants on campus, which are mostly all included in your meal plan. And they have a bowling alley on campus, and they have um, the Capulli Center, which is like a doctor's office on campus. And they also have a pharmacy that is attached to the Capulli Center. And I was um, a freshman, sophomore, and junior. I did not have a car on campus, so it was hard to find a doctor's office. And the Capulli Center definitely did everything that I needed it to do. I would go up, have my doctor's visit and then I would just walk back downstairs across the way and go to the pharmacy and pick up whatever prescription that I was prescribed. Also if you ever get sick on campus since they do have the pharmacy there they sell like your common flu medicine, vitamins, all kinds of things that you would find like at a CVS without actually having to leave campus. Also even though San Diego State is such a big campus it is actually has such a small homey feel to it. That was one thing I was very intimidated when I first started at San Diego State I was like this campus is huge I'm gonna get lost how am I gonna find my classes how am I gonna remember this I was like freaking out and then after like one week of being on campus I knew it all like the back of my hand you can get from one side of campus to the other in about 15 minutes which is really awesome next up on my list is diversity so San Diego State and San Diego as a whole as a city is very very diverse which is amazing so San Diego State has a ton of cultural based fraternities sororities clubs and restaurants and San Diego as a city is also very diverse which is really awesome next on my list is extracurriculars so kind of going back into diversity how there are um, like culturally based um, clubs and sororities and fraternities there's also just sororities and regular Greek life at San Diego State. San Diego State has a ton of extracurriculars. Like I wrote down extracurriculars super broadly, but there's a lot of things that I want to touch on about that. There's also clubs and associated students, which is AS. Um, it's kind of like your student body like in high school. Um, San Diego State is not lacking in that area. Also, San Diego State has a really awesome study abroad program. Now I know that their study abroad office is super, super supportive and they will set you up to do a semester abroad or a year abroad or whatever you feel comfortable with talking about with your study abroad advisor. They have a lot of um, like sister schools that they work with that they know the curriculum there so that you can make sure you're still getting your credits. Um, towards graduation at San Diego State. Also on San Diego State's campus, I'm not sure if you guys know, but there is a like concert venue. There's actually two. There's like an open air concert venue and then there's like the actual concert venue where the basketball team plays and where there's like 
big concerts. Um, so that's something that's really awesome. San Diego State has something that's called Green Fest every year, and they have people. I actually saw YG once at a Green Fest concert, and the concerts are very, very affordable at the open air theater. I think they paid like 50 bucks or $30. But it's really awesome because it's right there on campus, so you can walk to the concert, walk back home. You don't have to worry about finding Ubers or anything like that or parking. So that's something that's really awesome. Also, San Diego State has like a ton of events on campus. So I know when I was a freshman, they had like a welcome week. Like they literally had a, a carnival, not carnival, like with the Ferris wheel and all that stuff on campus. And they had like carnival rides. Yeah, it's like a carnival. And they had like carnival rides. They're also always having like therapy dogs on campus, which is really awesome. After class, I would be walking home and I would always see therapy dogs. And that was something that always like, if I was having a rough day, it was more often than not, I'd be like, man, I hope there's therapy dogs out there in the quad. And there was a lot of times. <laughs> so every, I think Wednesday, it was Wednesday when I was a student, they had farmer's market, which was so awesome. So the, obviously it wasn't a part of the meal plan, but they would have farmer's market where you could buy like groceries and they would have like um, food trucks come where you could buy like burritos or all kinds of like Indian food, African food. They had all kinds of like amazing stuff. And every Wednesday you could just smell them out in the quad, just like all of the food cooking and it would be so amazing but yeah I think San Diego State is really really awesome at like having extracurriculars and like things to do on campus I feel like every day of the week you would walk out into the the quad area and it was kind of like you never knew what was going to be out there that day which I thought was pretty cool next on my pros list is athletics and school spirit so I watched a couple of these videos before I made mine and just to kind of see like what people's perspective on San Diego State was and so many people were saying that San Diego State to them like wasn't a very school spirited school and I feel like I know why they're saying that but also I think that we're very like school spirited school I feel like a lot of people have like high Aztec for life like mentality but I think when it comes to like tailgating and sports and like athletics like in that aspect we're not up there with like Georgia Stanford you know like like Cal like those schools they're like people are like die hard they stay they watch the game where at San Diego State people are kind of more like yeah let's tailgate let's you know drink and then after the tailgates over like they don't stay for the game or nobody makes it past halftime at the game um, for football at least. Basketball is a little bit different because we're actually really, really good at basketball. I think this year before we shut down because of COVID-19, we were the number one seed, which is like awesome. And I'm so, so jealous that I'm not there right now. So yeah, basketball is a little bit different. I feel like people stand a little bit harder because we do well, but for football, I can see why the people think that. I think tailgates are there. People tailgate, people have fun. It is still a big like thing but people are definitely there for the tailgate versus being there for the football so that's something I wanted to like clarify because I feel like I feel like we we're pretty school spirited I don't know I was really school spirited Aztec for life so number six on my list was public transportation now this is something that I think is completely underrated because San Diego has a trolley system so there is a trolley station right on campus at San Diego State and their trains leave like every 15 to 30 minutes depending on like the time of day or the day of the week but there's trolley stations literally like everywhere you need to go in San Diego, which is amazing. And when I was a student there, it was $5 for a day pass. The trolley takes you to downtown, to the mall, um, to the movie theater, to Old Town, um, to Little Italy, did I already say that? Um, pretty much it takes you everywhere but like the actual beach which really really sucks and I wish it did. If you wanted to take public transportation to the beach, you'd have to get actually like um, take a trolley and then get on a bus. I would just recommend Ubering, um, but honestly the Uber isn't bad because you have to pay for parking once you get to the beach, so it kind of like evens itself out and then you don't have to worry about finding parking and etc, etc. But yes, public transportation at San Diego State is 
amazing. It was definitely a plus to my college experience. It helped me out so much. It was it let me get a job off of campus and it helped me get around and have fun things to do on the weekend because it literally stops along every like scenic route in San Diego. Number seven, I can't talk about San Diego State without talking about the meal plan. Um, I had a lot of friends that went to a lot of schools and I got to kind of be like, what's your meal plan like? You know, what's your meal plan like? When I went to go visit them, I would have to eat. So I would be like, hey, what do you do for meals? And I definitely think San Diego State had one of the best meal plans of all the state schools that I had experienced. How San Diego State's meal plan works is pretty much like they load money onto your student ID card. And um, when I was a student, it was like $19, $20. I looked online, it's now like $25. Jake's inflation. So yeah, they load like $25 on your card and pretty much you get to spend it at any of the restaurants on campus like Starbucks, BCB Coffee, which is also a pro to San Diego State. They have so much stuff where you could find like vegetarian options, vegan options. Um, I just think it's really, really amazing. It's restaurants that you already know and love where you can find healthy options at and there's like cuisine restaurants. The only thing that was hard for me about the meal plan is you, it's actually like use it or lose it. So you'd get $25 for the day and you'd have until midnight to spend it. So sometimes I would forget and I'd have like $8 left on my card and I'd forget to spend it and it'd be like, damn, that's $8 that I'm never getting back. So, um, also they have markets all over campus, which are a little bit overpriced yeah it's kind of like if you were to like grocery shop at 7-eleven like everything's pretty overpriced but it's really nice like at the end of the day if you had money left over I, what i would do is i would always go down to the market and buy granola bars i buy cliff bars um i buy gatorades so that over the weekend i'd have stuff or if like i wanted a midnight snack or i was up studying till 4 a.m i've had something to eat or snack on um, they also have like protein shake stands where you can buy acai bowls, protein shakes, smoothies, um, really awesome stuff. I mean, San Diego is very like health conscious city itself. So there's going to be health conscious options at San Diego State. Like it's a priority there. Okay. And last but not least for my pro is San Diego. Like you're living in San Diego. I think to this day, San Diego is the world's best city and nobody can tell me otherwise. I'm in love with the city. All of my friends from college still live there. Well, a lot of my friends from college still live there. I moved home and I miss it every single day. I literally have depression from graduating school three years ago and I just, I love San Diego so much and <sighs> I just love it so much. <laughs> okay but seriously no san diego is like an amazing city it's very diverse there's so 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 many restaurants and i think some of debatably like the best food ever in the whole like state of california i can't talk about the world because i have been around the world but in the state of california i've eaten in a lot of places around here and mm -mm, mm -mm. San Diego has the best food, the best restaurants. Also, not to mention, once you guys turn 21, they have the best nightlife of all time. So San Diego itself is just amazing. I mean, you're at least three hours away from LA, which is pretty cool. Like if you ever wanted to take like a little trip up to Hollywood or Venice Beach or kind of like explore that area, you can do that. Um, San Diego itself also has like hiking trails. Like that's something that my friends and I love doing. We like going on little hikes. Um, they have like mountains with snow if you want to drive like a little bit out. I think San Diego like itself as a city is amazing location wise. It's amazing. It's close to everything thing weather girl it rained like four times in san diego so when i moved back up north to sacramento i was like wait a minute i don't have any winter coats like i didn't have rain jackets i all i had were denim jackets and they were for fashion and i got way too hot and i took them off so when i moved back up to the bay area i was like i need to buy jackets i just literally didn't have any yet i also wore sandals every single day like i felt weird when i had socks on that was something that took getting used to when i moved back up north i was like oh, i have to wear socks and shoes because it's cold <laughs> But yeah, no, San Diego, it is what it's cracked up to be. The weather is amazing. Um, it's sunny skies like every single day. Oh, this video is getting really long. Okay, I've been talking for like an hour already. So I'm going to speed this up. Neutral. 
this whole neutral column is like for you guys to decide if it's a deal breaker for you. Um, I'll kind of give you like my personal opinion, but I think like what's good for one person isn't always good for the other. First on my digital list is class sizes. So I would say that San Diego State has like half really big lecture halls, half like really small classes. I was a sociology major, so most of like my core classes were like 30, 40, 50, maybe the highest like 60, 70 in my class. But um, and they felt very like close knit. Like I started recognizing people like, oh yeah, like you know when you take your major related courses like you start seeing familiar faces um but like when i was like freshman and sophomore when you do your ge's i had a lot more like big lecture halls like my poli sci class like everybody has to take it it's like the american california government class um i think there were like 300 people in that class and it was a huge lecture hall and you would have clickers where you just would be like instead of like this professor calling on a student and being like hey uh what do you think of this like she would everybody would have a clicker it'd be tied to our name and student id and she would ask a question that would like pull all 300 people so that was something that, i mean that's not as personable but for me it wasn't a deal breaker like i wasn't like a type of person where i wanted that like close intimate setting especially for like ge classes that i'm literally just taking to graduate and get my degree um yeah, I don't know. So that's something like for you guys to decide. Next on my neutral list was reputation. So San Diego State's really known for being like a party school. Like when I tell people that I went to San Diego State, they're like, oh, I'm like, yeah, I don't know. So that's kind of like something like for you guys to decide. It's known for being a party school, but since I've been there and I went there and I graduated from there, I would say it's very like a work hard, play hard type of school. More recently, San Diego State's um, acceptance rate has gotten way more exclusive. So the GPA, like the standard GPA of your average incoming freshman is really high now. Um, so it kind of like limits the type of people that actually get into San Diego State. Like all of the people that get in, I would say they value school. They tried hard in high school. They did their part and they didn't just, you know, it wasn't a backup school. It's like, it's pretty established now with the acceptance rate that it's a little bit more prestigious in the CSU system. Next on my neutral list, and I want to be very, very careful when I talk about this topic, is Greek life. So I'm sure if you're already considering San Diego State, you probably know that Greek life is a huge, huge aspect of San Diego State. Now, this might be something that draws you to the school, or this might be something that you don't even really think about. So for me, it wasn't something that drew me to the school. That's not why I picked it. I was more interested in the location, being near the beach, being in a beach town, and um, the athletics, like school spirit, and having a football team, and a basketball team, and the, that type of stuff. So I will just kind of give you guys the facts. San Diego State is very Greek life-based, and not only is it like, Greek life based, but it's very like, ooh, you're a bottom house, or yeah, I'm the top house. And it was like, even the Greek life system itself was biased to itself. I don't know if that makes sense. Basically, parties are very exclusive. So if you want to go to a fraternity party, just being in a sorority isn't good enough. You have to be like on a similar level to that fraternity's party. So if you're going to like a top house fraternity party, they might not let you in if you're from a bottom house sorority. Honestly, and I don't mean this any offense, I don't mean this offensively to Greek life. I'm just talking about my personal experience. I thought that the Greek life aspect of San Diego State made a lot of things very, very shallow and belittling. So, and that's coming from me. I, I probably feel that way because I wasn't in Greek life. So I was kind of the one that was like always discriminated against. <laughs> but put it this way, like if you try to go to a fraternity party, you, when I was a student there, they would just be like, okay, who's your, what sorority in and what's your chapter president's name? And most of the time we would just Google it so that we could get into the party. And now I hear that they're like making you, you have to have a group me proving that you're in the sorority and you have to have it actually live. It can't be screenshotted. Like they scroll, they actually pick your phone up and scroll on it to make sure that it's like live and not a screenshot and that you're actually in sorority and that you deserve to be there. And I just think that is so 
like not cool I don't know however you can have fun at San Diego State if you're not in Greek life I want to stress that I was not in Greek life my entire time at San Diego State I still went to parties I still had a ton of fun so in the dorms you make a lot of friends and you end up being friends with your roommates and you end up being friends with the people on your floor and you end up being friends with the people in your whole building you just meet a lot of people during college you meet people in class and they invite you to parties that way or you get a job and you have co-workers and they're having a house party um there's a ton of house parties at San Diego State where they might ask like who do you know here and most of the time you know somebody because that's how you knew the house party and how you got the address next is campus culture for my neutral and that kind of like going off of like the Greek life like that is the campus culture so if Greek life is a con for you and that that type of vibe is a con for you it really does spread and leak throughout all of campus so I would say that like San Diego State's campus culture is very like SoCal like people are very like fashion forward they're very health conscious they're very body conscious um, they value you know eating right eating healthy um, going to the gym also, one big thing about campus culture that I wanted to point out is um, San Diego State is not a commuter school by any means, um, but I would say a lot of people spend a lot of time off campus just because San Diego is so like beautiful and amazing and there's so much fun stuff to do that a lot of times your peers might be off campus. If you're on campus on the weekend, it's not going to be a ghost town. Like there's always people there. There's always something going on. I wouldn't classify it as a commuter school at all, but I would say that that very often there could be like a large amount of people off campus so it's just maybe not as much as like people like live on campus and never leave like people leave campus quite a bit at San Diego State last on my neutral list is cost so San Diego State is really on par with every other school in the system they charge like 7500 um a year in tuition which i think has not even went up that much since i graduated and they have added quite a bit new stuff and new buildings so i think that's kind of cool it's pretty much standard to all csus in california first on my cons list and i kind of wanted to make this a neutral but i went ahead and put it with cons is uh campus safety so I would personally say that I don't think San Diego State is like more dangerous. Definitely if you go to San Diego State, don't walk anywhere alone. That kind of goes for any girl, any man, any woman, anybody that goes to college and is like going out to parties and stuff like that. Like never leave alone, never walk around alone. San Diego State does have all of these pillars around where with blue buttons where you press the blue button and within like 30 seconds a cop could be at your assistance. Um, San Diego State did also have its own police station on campus that like were San Diego State police. So that was something that I thought like kind of made it more safe than other schools. I'm not sure if other schools have that, but I would say that I felt generally safe at San Diego State, I always felt like there was somebody else walking around campus like in an earshot if I had to scream or and I just never really walked places alone if I didn't have to like if I didn't absolutely have to. I did put it on a con because it is something you can't deny like San Diego State definitely had a ton of crime alerts. You'd get little texts to your phone that said crime alert. Um, it gave a little description description of the suspect and it would give a little description of the crime that had happened and it would always be like car was broken into in parking garage four or um mainly it was a lot of like cars being broken into in the parking garages i would say that's like 99 percent of the crime alerts and then there was a couple that were like um somebody got robbed or somebody's house got broken into okay my second con is the cost of living in San Diego. And this could kind of mean a, a couple different things. When I was a student at San Diego State, only freshmen had to live in the dorms unless you were from the area. And now it's freshmen and sophomores have to live in dorms on campus housing. Um, so they do have like apartments for on campus housing. Once you get off of campus housing and you can, like me and my friends, we rented a, a five bedroom house and eight of us lived there. And it was like the best experience of my life. However, rent was very, very expensive in San Diego. So the cost of living in San Diego is very, very high. Um, not only is San Diego like expensive in itself to like pay rent. Um, I feel like when you live in San Diego, you spend a lot of money going out to eat at restaurants. Like I mentioned before, like some of the best food you will ever 
eat is inside San Diego and you will spend a lot of money on restaurants or going out to brunch or getting drinks once you guys turn 21. You will probably be going to the bars like two two times a weekend, three times a weekend, you know. We don't judge. Um, but the cost adds up. So that is one thing to really point out. Also kind of like playing off of the campus culture and culture of San Diego in general is it's very like keeping up with the Joneses. So you will feel probably a lot of pressure to like have nice new outfits or if there's like a themed party that you're going to, you're gonna wanna buy an outfit for it. Um, you're always definitely gonna be tempted to like go shopping at the malls. Like, there's just pressure all around the, the place to spend money. So it just makes the cost of living very, very high. Lastly, but not least, uh, my third con of San Diego State is high impaction. In order to get into the nursing program, you have to have really close to like a 4.0 or else you just won't get in. So definitely San Diego State can be very, very competitive in that aspect. Um, also, if you're a sophomore and you're registering for your classes, good luck. Say your prayers because that is like the worst year to register for classes. You will probably be waitlisted for everything. Classes will be closed. You're not gonna get your first choice. Like, unless you get priority registration for like athletics or I was an EOP, so I got um, priority registration. But if you don't have those things that give you priority registration, you could definitely like even delay your graduation date because you didn't get a class that you need. Um, or you might not get your first choice or you might not get your best schedule. You'll probably still get the classes that you need at the end of the day um, because you can always crash courses, which basically just means that the professor might make an exception once the school year starts. Um, he'll probably let you in or add you to your his roster or her, her roster. But um, definitely just adds a lot more stress if you're scrambling around with your schedule, you're trying to get it all figured out. I had a semester once where my schedule didn't like finalize after crashing courses and everything else. My semester, my semester classes didn't like finalize until the third week of the semester. So like that definitely was really stressful. That's and I had priority registration, but that's just the name of the game these days. I feel like. A lot of schools have impactions. I don't want to be like, oh, that San Diego State's only got impaction. But I will say that it is pretty, pretty pertinent on campus. Holy cowabunga. I've been literally talking for like two hours. And I hope that that wasn't boring. I hope this was informative. And I hope that you guys like this video. If you do, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Also, if you want any more San Diego State videos, please let me know. I am like so happy to just ramble on about San Diego State. I absolutely, absolutely loved my college experience. I literally sometimes cry about it because it's over. I just think San Diego State gave me some of my best friends. It gave me my absolute best memories and I would a hundred percent recommend going to San Diego State. I don't think you have to be in Greek life to have a good time. You will definitely like find your group of friends um, and have a blast and just live in a beautiful city, experience new things, experience um, diversity in a city, experience diversity in food, restaurants, all kinds of new experiences I got from San Diego State and I would recommend going. So I hope that if you or came across this video because you need to do your intent to enroll. I hope this helped. I'm gonna stop rambling now and please let me know if you have any questions, comments, concerns, jokes that you want to tell down in the comments. I will 100% reply to everybody. But I hope you guys found this video helpful. I hope it helped you make a decision if you had to or prepared you if you got accepted to San Diego State. Congratulations! You're absolutely going to love it. And I hope this gave you a little bit more insight and perspective. And I'm gonna go now, so bye!